continuamos con Panorama. Les recuerdo que este programa llega a ustedes bajo el auspicio de Copa Airlines, Campeón Soccer y El Planeta, el periódico de la comunidad latina. Les recuerdo también que estoy reemplazando a Javier Marín, quien se encuentra viajando en estos momentos por una conferencia importante. Bueno, estamos en Panorama y ahora les tengo una noticia importante. ¿Sabía usted que una de cada 10 personas en Massachusetts tienen dinero esperándolos? Y ese dinero, ya les voy a decir cómo encontrarlo, porque estamos aquí con la tesorera de Massachusetts, Deborah Goldberg. Tesorera, es un placer estar aquí. Thank you very much for your time. We are really happy to be here. And there are so many things that we want to talk with you. Thank you for being in Panorama. Uh, let's start with uh, what I was telling to our viewers. Uh, well, I understood that. Yeah. Entiendo mucho. Y, y, y es importante, ¿verdad? Sí, Una de sí. cada diez personas tienen dinero. Cuéntenos sobre la campaña Find Us Money. Find Mass Money is a, a program that we run here. It's called Unclaimed Property. And what does that mean? Uh, so many people uh, will, for example, you get a gift card and you don't use it. Believe it or not, that needs to be turned over to the state at a certain amount of time. Or you've had a small savings account in a local community bank and you move to another community and you forgot about it because maybe it only had $35 or $50 and it was just something that you, it came, went out of your head that you owned that. Mm -hmm. That gets turned over to the state. Or in fact, you paid rent and put a security deposit on it and the landlord had kept it and then tried to find you to give it back. But what if you had moved from Lowell to New Bedford? And that's money that is owed to you. It comes to us in many, many different ways. From the small, tiny accounts under $100 to last week, someone came up to me and told me that they had gotten a call that it was $29,000. Uh -huh. I had a doctor that I was going to who told me that he had gotten information that he had never picked up a paycheck and we got it back to him. So every year we put out a new list with new names. They're in the newspapers. You see it advertised on television on where to call. You can go on the website and put your name in. And then there's a process because it is our job to get your money back to you. It doesn't belong to us, it belongs to you. So it's a wonderful program from $25 to thousands of dollars. So we're, and we're happy to return it. It makes me feel good. Wow, nos cuenta la tesorera de Massachusetts que el programa de Find Mass Money trabaja con lo que se llama propiedad sin reclamar. ¿Qué es la propiedad sin reclamar? Son, por ejemplo, dinero que usted tenía de una tarjeta de regalo que no usó, tal vez una cuenta de ahorros de la que se olvidó que la tenía y la tenía con dinero, tal vez una, un depósito de seguridad de una renta eh, del que nunca recibió el dinero de vuelta o lo reclamó, y un sinnúmero de, eh, de opciones en las que usted tiene dinero esperándolo, y ese es el trabajo de la tesorería de Massachusetts, reclamar ese dinero para que usted que es el dueño, pues lo tenga y lo pueda usar. Entonces, por eso la campaña Find Mass Money publica un libro cada año y también en internet usted puede buscar. A, si usted tiene algo esperándolo, nos cuenta la tesorera Goldberg que un doctor, por ejemplo, tenía cheques sin cobrar de salario que no había cobrado y los pudo retirar gracias a Find Mass Money. Aquí tenemos el libro, este es el libro de Find Mass Money que se ha repartido en diferentes medios, por ejemplo, en el Planeta Newspaper. Usted lo pudo encontrar en varias ocasiones. Entonces, gracias a este libro, usted puede encontrar su nombre, ver si tiene dinero esperándolo. Y la sorpresa puede ser tan pequeña como gente que tiene 100 dólares o menos, hasta 29 mil dólares, que es prácticamente, <risa> that's a new car, 29,000 dólares, es un carro Actually, nuevo. Actually, for that person, it was a new kitchen. Oh, wow. <risa> Cocina. <risa> Son varias opciones, por ejemplo, una nueva cocina, un carro nuevo o 
plata que está ahí esperándolo y que usted la puede usar porque le pertenece. Eh, Treasurer Goldberg, um, congratulations for also like reaching with this campaign to yes. the different ethnic communities. Yes. Um, it's very important that you are reaching our Latino community using El Planeta to tell people like, please look for your money. That, uh, we congratulate you for that. How was the result of that campaign? Did you see uh, more people than before coming uh, well, to we, reclaim? To um, every single state has this program. We are number one in the country in returning money to people. And we intentionally outreach to all the communities throughout the state and use every resource that we can. Uh, and we also, we go to events, we set up tables, we, we have the banner, come find your money, we will help you. And so literally, met people who work here in the treasurer's office go out to parades, they go out to gatherings. Um, we have gone out to senior centers, it's quite often that seniors have this problem. Um, it happens a lot with them and you can imagine why. And so we were at an event, um, a gathering of seniors in the middle of the state last year and we had set up the table and we were able to return $18,000 to a senior on fixed income that he had no idea he had lost. So yes, the outreach is very important. We don't sit here in state government and just wait for people to figure it out. Muy bien, nos dice la tesorera que para retornar el dinero, devolverle el dinero que usted tal vez tiene esperándolo en la tesorería, ellos se valen de medios que llegan a las diferentes comunidades, como es el caso de El Planeta. Y que eso les resulta porque así pueden alcanzar a un amplio espectro de personas, incluyendo, por ejemplo, personas de la tercera edad y todo el que, el que tengan que llegarle. Y así se han convertido en la oficina de tesorería estatal con más éxito devolviendo dinero. La primera en el país devolviendo dinero. Congratulations for that too. You are the first uh, returning yes, money to, to people. It, it, well, I think it's really because of the program of reaching out to people. That really works. And we're very, very committed to it. In fact, some of the things that we have found, um, we have an eBay auction once a year, and we take the items around the state first for people to view them, either to all of a sudden see something that they may have lost. Um, you take something to a, uh, say you have your grandmother's ring, mm -hmm. and you take it to a jewelry store, and for some reason you forgot that you took it there to be repaired, and ultimately it ends up with us. So what we do, is we first try to make sure everyone knows these items exist. And then, if not, we have an eBay auction where the general public can actually bid on these funds. And we, the money that we raise through it obviously supports us being out, able to reach out to people, but also goes to the state to be put into education, to be put into the general fund and used for good purposes. Qué interesante, nos cuenta la tesorera que, por ejemplo, cuando se tratan de objetos, si usted fue a reparar un anillo y, y a una joyería y se olvidó de retirarlo, la tesorería de Massachusetts coloca esos objetos en una subasta en eBay para así dar oportunidad, primero, de que usted tal vez lo identifique o, si no, para recolectar dinero que se usa para buenas causas y también para eh, el bien de la comunidad. Entonces, Ahora sí, nos vamos a ir a un corte comercial. Let's go to a commercial cut and we are coming back oh, with more okay. panorama. Great. Nos veo pronto.